Prophet وسلم, said at the time of death, at the time of death, shaitan will come to you in his biggest strength, at most strength, in the form of your best friend to tell you to believe in other faiths than Islam and die in other faiths than as a Muslim. Imam Muhammad ibn Hanbal rahmatullahi was dying. Imagine a person like Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahmatullahi. Even today, millions follow him. When he was dying, he was going unconscious, gaining consciousness, going unconscious, gaining, regaining consciousness. His son was next to him. He says, oh, my father, and he, uh, uh, Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal would say, la bad, la bad, not now, not yet, not yet. His son would say, oh, my father, what is going on? Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal rahmatullahi would say, oh, shaitan has come, in. shaitan has come to me. He's telling me, oh, Ahmad, you have escaped me. You have escaped me. Hmm? And I would say, not yet, not yet. You're going to be there until I die. I'm not going to be deceived by you. My mother-in-law, you know, she was fine. She would get her social security check. She would give it away. The by the next day, all would be gone to the poor people. She'd love to give charity. Hmm? For 23 years, she served Arrington Masjid. She would clean up ladies' section every Ramadan, every day of the Ramadan. For 23 years, she did that. And she died on 29th of Ramadan. On her janaza, janaza was on the day of Eid. The real Eid was hers. 1,500 people at ISCB, mashallah. Cleansed of the sins inside, beautiful clothes outside with perfume on, prayed forgiveness for her. What a beautiful way to leave the world, right? But three days before she died, she was in our house. She would say that in Hindu bhajans, she would start reciting. Ram, Ram, Sita, Ram, 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 Sita, Ram, 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 Sita, Ram. I would say, well, why are you saying this? I said, oh, there's a man on the wall. He's telling me to say these things. He says, no, no, no. Say, la ilaha illallah. Say, astaghfirullah. Then she says, oh, la ilaha illallah. Astaghfirullah, astaghfirullah. What about us, respected listeners? Hmm? Rasulullah sallallahu said, give charity as much as you can on regular basis. Or on regular basis, even if it is small. And another thing, it might be hard for the men, respective listeners. Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a Sahih Hadith, the book, the scholars read this book a lot in their school, in their madrasa. Prophet, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says, a person who prays two sunnat of fajr in the house and then comes to pray his fard in the masjid, Allah will give him three rewards. Pray sunnat at home, Praise Fajr in the masjid with Jamaat, Allah gives him three rewards. Number one, Allah will make his risk easy, sustenance easy for him. Number two, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala takes away all the domestic issues, problems, arguments, fights away from his house. Takes it away. All the domestic problems, issues are solved, gone away. Number three, Allah will give that person a good death. A good death. And the last thing, among many other things you might be doing, respective, this is making dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Oh, Prophet of Allah, if a person dies a natural death, will he or she be raised as a shaheed, as a martyr on the day of judgment? As asked with Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa says, yes, the one who remembers death 25 times a day. Or the one who says these words, Allahumma barikli fil maut wa fima ba'd al maut. Oh, Allah, bless me in death and bless me in what comes after death. The dua Allah teaches in the Quran, Rabbana la tuzi qulubana ba'ad idh hadaytana wa hablana min ladun ka rahma innak antal waha. We should say this dua after every salat, respected listeners. Oh Allah, do not make my, hearts go, my heart go astray after you have guided me. Our hearts go astray in this you know, living now, respected listeners. The moment we walk out of the masjid, my heart, my heart might go, go astray. What about at the time of death? After every salat, we should read this dua. Be very particular reading this dua. One of the other duas Prophet Sallallahu used to make was, Allah maqtim li bi khayr amali. Oh Allah, make me do good actions at the time of my death. At the time of my ending, oh Allah, make me do good actions.